good afternoon. One sweet potato, half a cup of my beans, and some string beans, peppers, and onions. Wow, that looks great, doesn't it? And I found this. Soul-free Mrs. Dash taco seasoning. Let's eat. Well, hello, my friends. How are you? They're back. And this plate of food looks spectacular. There you go. Sweet potato, 15 beans, uh, string beans, peppers, onions. Delish and easy. It's now 1.30 and this is my breakfast. Yes, it is. So I got my glasses today. Let me tell you the story. First, let me take a bite of my food. Let me take a bite. Let me take a bite. To your health, to your very good health. It's gonna be a little hot. I put that taco seasoning in there. So I wanna try this on here. Mmm. Oh, that is good. That is really, really good. I got it on Amazon. The taco seasoning, I got it on Amazon, the Mrs. Dash. I couldn't find that in the store. <gasps> That's really good. No salt, guys. No salt. Oh, it tastes good. It tastes good. So let me tell you, I'm a little melancholy today. No, it's not about my eating. Mm -mm. Eating's fine, right on track. You know, you can't go wrong with vegetables and starches. But today, I went to go pick up these glasses. But I was still feeling, well, not these glasses. These glasses. They just had to take the, the lens out of these and put, pop them into the new frame that I had to order online. You know, I told you. So let me try on these. I'll show you these. They're very nice, right? Very nice, very lightweight, very lightweight. So I went to pick up these and get my lenses put in these, which are like, oh, love them. Hello, I love them. Anyway, so I get my glasses, talk with the girl a little bit. She says to me, you know, Denise, it looks to me that you've lost some weight since the last time you were really in here. That was like last year. And I said, well, I have. And I told her I was doing Dr. McDougal's starch solution. And she's about five foot three and way over 300 pounds. So I said, you should order the book and see what you think. You know, I'm not really one to push anything on anybody because believe me, your girlfriend is... Uh, not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. You know, I've been dieting my whole entire life. That's right, friends, my whole entire life. Mmm, mmm. But I always said, there's more to me than a diet. And there is. Because isn't it boring? Isn't dieting just boring? And it is. So from there, I stopped at, at a convenience store. I had had a winning lottery ticket. Yeah, a $20 winning lottery ticket. So I get out of my car and there's somebody that I know that's standing there and he's got a broom in his hand. And I said to him, hey, how you doing? And he goes, hi, D, how you doing? I said, I'm doing okay. I said, just signed up for Social Security this morning. I said, I'm feeling so melancholy about it. I said, where did the years go by so fast? My whole youth feels like it went out the window. So I was trying to make light of that, right? So I said, how you doing? And he said to me, I'm dying. I said, what? He said, I'm dying. He's only 55. So I said to him, what is going on? And he said, I have cirrhosis of the liver. My kidneys are shot, my liver is shot. Everything is shot. I'm going from one cancer place to the next. I felt terrible. I felt terrible for thinking, 
Oh, Denise, you signed up for Social Security today and you feel melancholy. Schmuck. And I tell this to this guy before he tells me, right, about his situation. I felt bad. I felt terrible. And because I thought of just what I said, you know, I said, oh, I'm so old. I, you know, I had to sign up for Social Security today. So we were talking and then he said to me the, the sweetest thing before I went into the store because he was sweeping the parking lot for $5. Now this individual I worked with, okay, for many, many years, many years. And he was a maintenance slash do whatever you need him to do. He was an alcoholic. He was a drug abuser, but I can honestly tell you when he was working, he was spot on and he worked his tail off and never stopped, never stopped. And I used to always say to him, you know what, if you gave up that bottle, in private, I would say these things, you gave up the bottle and you gave up the drugs. I said, you'd be a millionaire for all, this, all the energy you have that you're a hustler, you're always hustling. And he remembers me saying that to him. So I went in, got what I needed and came back out. And when I came back out, he had this. He brought me these flowers. Because he was sweeping out the parking lot of a florist, he went in and got me the flowers. Now this is Sister Fifi's mug. If anybody's not familiar with her, she's got a YouTube channel. And I had purchased the mug and I thought, how apropos to put these flowers in this mug. And he said to me, you know what, D? When we worked together and I was there 10 years, I was there quite a, uh, quite a lot, many, many years. He says, you always treated me like you treated everybody else. You showed me respect. And I said to myself, that's the way people should be treated, with respect in my head. Of course, I couldn't get the words out. He says, you always treated me like you treated everybody else. You never treated me any different where some people did treat him different. They looked down at him. And for the grace of God, I wasn't walking in his shoes. And you never know what somebody else is going through. And I knew he had a tough life. I knew that. There were things, you know, you know, when you work with somebody so long, you know what they go through and what happened in their lives and how alcoholism, how alcoholism changed him. And I just thought this was just a beautiful gesture. I had to share it with all of you. I had to. I want to show you another gesture. I showed this to my friends on Facebook, but I didn't show it to you guys on YouTube. A buddy watcher and a person that watches my videos sent me this beautiful canvas that she painted. Hi, Stephanie. Did you think I wouldn't, you wouldn't make it here on my YouTube channel? Of course you would, honey. She sent this to me and I told her I would hang it in a place of pride in my house and I am. Oh yes. You know, what you don't realize in life is this is, this is diet. This is just a diet. That's all this is. This diet, this journey, this is my journey. But when you touch people and you touch their lives in some way, that is the best feeling of all. The absolute best feeling. I'm sorry, I tear up because... You know, I've been making buddy videos for five years. I have. Most of them are on my personal Facebook page. And I don't share my personal Facebook page here on YouTube. And I have met incredible people over the years through buddy. But I also met incredible people that have six children, sick kids. And, um, oh God. And buddy would make videos, still does for those kids, personalized for them directly. Either a parent reaches out, a sibling reaches out, 
a guardian reaches out, a nurse reaches out, and they ask me if I could do it. And it's like, absolutely. There's never a no. Never a no. And, um, oh, God. <laughs> this is it. You know, this is what happens. And you're getting this in the rawest state it could possibly be in because I didn't expect to even say this much. But I think you're my friends and I think it's you get a chance to know who I am because again, it's only a diet. It's not my life. It's not my life. It's my journey, my personal journey, what I'm going through and I'm just showing you as I go along. But it's the real things in life, the real true things in life that matter. I know. I'm all over the map right now. Because I was feeling sorry for myself, you see. I was feeling sorry for myself because I'm 62 years old and I had to go collect Social Security. And um, my friend is dying. And he was still laugh, you know, laugh and joked around. And, and here I am standing there going, woe is me. Look at me, 62. Got to collect Social Security now. I'm an old lady. All this stuff going on in my own head. Until I got back in my car and I said to myself, aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky, D? Yeah, I am. I'm very lucky in so many ways. I don't want to make this like a Debbie Towner video because I don't. But you learn lessons every day, no matter how old you are. You learn lessons, and this was a life lesson for me. So I wanted to share it with all of you. Again, like I said, it's only food. Food that's gonna nourish my body. Food that's gonna make me feel healthier. Food that's gonna sustain me. And God willing, go another year, two, three, and four. But I wanted to share it with all of you. So until I see you the next time, my friends, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Jeannie. Be kind to one another. The heart, the heart is all that matters. It's, it's the only thing that matters. Till I see you again. Bye-bye.